Why More Americans Are Working Contract and Temporary Jobs by Unique Gilbert. My story is an important issue because according to data gathered from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, temporary jobs are in a growing demand where more companies who have become unsure of success are more hesitant to hire permanent employees. This is of concern to the general public when temporary jobs begin to replace full-time permanent positions. Now is the time to tell this story because according to CNN Money, the latest federal data reports that 2.3 million people worked as temps in March of 2012, and that increased from 1.7 million in 2009. The McKinney Global Institute reports that respondents for different companies feel that temporary jobs will take over the workforce. This is alarming because companies can hire workers cheap, not pay them benefits, and can dispose of them easily, which would then increase the amount of unemployment claims. This story will be different from similar stories because my story will focus more on why temporary jobs should start decreasing and not become the way of life in the workplace. It will also differ in that it will show that being a temporary worker is not in the best interest of the worker, but rather the employer in the temporary agency. ABC News did an article on why it is a good thing to be a contract or temporary worker and failed to cover both sides of the spectrum regarding the negatives of being a contract or temporary worker. The target audience of my story will be current contract and temporary workers, recruiters for staffing agencies, and human resource personnel in charge of hiring decisions. The research that led me to this conclusion is based off a report from NPR.org which showed why temporary workers are on the rise and who are targeting the temporary workers. The first perspective will come in the form on why working as a contract worker is a great benefit and how it helps companies keep their bottom line down. The second perspective will come in the form on why working as a contract worker long term is not beneficial to the employee due to not being able to advance up the corporate ladder in the company, the fact that they are disposable, they are oftentimes treated differently, they receive low pay, and oftentimes no benefits. The first subject matter expert will be conducted with an individual who currently works as a contract temporary employee and they will be able to discuss the good the bad, and the ugly side of working as a contract employee. The second subject matter expert will be with an individual who is in charge of hiring decisions, and they are able to convey why they choose to hire contract temporary workers and why this is beneficial to the company that they work for. In order for my readers and viewers to fully understand and connect with my story, I will show graphs reflecting numbers and statistics from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics regarding the jobs that contract temporary workers are working. I will also utilize photos, audio, and video for interviewees and subject matter experts that are able to explain in more detail the issues of working for contract and temporary jobs. In regards to promoting my story, I will publish the story on job board blogs such as Monster.com, CareerBuilder.com, and Glassdoor.com. I will also be publishing tidbits of the story on my website, Twitter, Facebook, pages, and job boards to garner interest in the story. These are great avenues to use to promote because those that are seeking jobs will see the article and those who want just more information about the subject or know someone that is going through this can then relate to the individual and can pass on the article to others. And for a unique image, I am Unique Gilbert.